Martial arts expert and ex-bouncer Jeff Thompson is a fighter who became a writer. His books about his past exploits selling thousands. Realising that karate techniques have limited use in real life situations, he started the Animal Day sessions, where martial artists learn how to fight dirty. The martial arts community are up in arms and claim that Jeff is just a street fighter, more interested in a street brawl than the discipline of their craft. When I reached a high level with the martial arts, I realised I, it, it, I was still scared. The martial arts of today don't fit with the enemy of today. They're still fighting samurai on horseback. Of course, when I tell them this, they don't like it. Um, this will be as but Jeff's monthly Animal Day sessions attract increasing numbers of people eager to learn the street fighting skills that martial arts can't teach them. In one-on-one -on -one combat sessions, techniques such as eye gouging and headbutting are taught in no-holds-barred confrontations. What I say to people is, come and do animal day, but it's not my rules, it's not your rules, and you can go. You've got to show them what works. You've got to show them about the people we're dealing with, so that when they go out there, they don't they don't crumble under the, under the pressure of a real situation. Animal day is, is pressure testing technique and character to see whether it's going to stand up to a real situation. You get back! Going on the door was my animal day. I realised where all my weaknesses were, and then I set about strengthening them up. This is the navigation. I spent five years here one night. It was a rough place when I was here. If you, if you had more than two teeth and less than three scars, the doorman wouldn't let you in. It's all burnt out now. You can see it's derelict, but uh, this is the bar area. We had a, a huge battle over here one night. My mate Tony the head went and got a baseball bat from behind the bar. And just as I was getting this guy to the door, he's got this bat and he's going wallop right across the back of the head. And how he didn't kill him, I'll never know. Anybody that says they're not scared of the door, they're a liar, because it's, it's frightening. But the kind of self-confidence you get from facing that fear is tremendous. The way to control the fear is to get exposure to it. Animal Day gives you exposure to that. Coventry was told as the most violent city in Europe for its size and population. There's been a lot of people shot dead up here. My friends really got shot in the head up here. We're living in an environment where if you turn the other cheek, you get the other side of your face smacked. When you work the door, it really affects your personal life. It affects every part of your life because you see the bad side of society all the time. So you're always looking for the bad side in people. You stop trusting people, you become paranoid. You're talking to people, you're lying, and what you're thinking, his ribs are a bit suspect, you're looking at his jaw. If he says one thing to him, well, I'm going to take him off the planet. This is coming back to the original concept of karate. <laughs> Always, if you can, first response is to escape. Second response should be persuasion to try and stop people attacking you. And your third response is a preemptive attack. But you can't do that if you're not trained for it. So I try and give people one or two techniques, maybe a right cross, a right hook, or a finger strike, or an elbow strike, and make it so that one strike will do the job. And you can take it out. I ended up getting in hundreds of fights. Obviously, you get very good at it because you're doing it all the time. And because of that, we'd be sitting in the factory the next day talking, having a cup of tea, and I'd be telling the lads about the incidents that happened, and they'd say, oh, you want to write that down? And so I did, I wrote it down, and that was watch my back. I had a fight with a guy called Granny Jaw. They called him Granny Jaw because nobody could knock him out. We were fighting for so long that people went off and bought chips and come back and still sat and watch. In the end, I had to bite the end of his finger off to stop him. Um, but we became good friends afterwards. If you want to give in, of course you give in, you know. But I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stretch your own boundaries. There's a coward in everybody waiting to burst out. What we've got to do is learn to control him. No actual attack in the eyes. If you want to come through and touch the eyes and put gentle pressure on, no scratching or actually attacking. Well done. I don't know, okay? Great. Animal Day, it's not just about fighting. In fact, it's not really about fighting at all. Like, people come to my club to find themselves. It's good on the mat, so please, put your condoms on. I don't like violence. I never did like it. Um, and I'll, I don't want to sound a big head, but I'm good at it but I hate it. If I never have another fight in my life, I'll be the happiest person alive. Yeah!